everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this great? So this is based on the old original log cabin. That's an old block that's been around forever. As a matter of fact, it was the very first quilt I made was a log cabin block. The difference with this one is that the way you set the blocks and that your strips are different sizes. So that gives it a whole different design, a whole different pattern, and it just looks really cool. So what you're gonna need to make this quilt are two rolls of two and a half inch strips, and we have used this line rosette for RJR, and it's just beautiful. You're also going to need uh, a packet of inch and a half strips or yardage. If you cut your own yardage, you're gonna need one and three quarter yards to cut this. And we use this, uh, this white that has this tiny silver fleck dot on it. I mean, it's just really cute. Sometimes it's fun to throw a little something different in the background. And for that, you're gonna need uh, one and three quarter yards. Now, the outside of our quilt right here, you see we have no border on here. So just a little binding. Your binding is three quarters of a yard. Your backing here, Oh, pretty print that we chose from the fabric line. And it is five yards and, and those are with vertical seams. So let me show you how to make this. You're gonna take each strip and you're gonna do all the same cuts from each strip, but then you're gonna mix them all up. So we're gonna open up our strips here and because we're opening them up, you may want to stack them up. You know, like you could put four or so and get four cuts at once. I'm just gonna do one to show you. First thing I'm gonna do is cut off my little selvage edge and then I'm gonna cut a two and a half inch block. And we'll set that over here. And then we have a three and a half inch piece. So one, two, three and a half. And you will just wanna make little stacks of these. And then we're gonna have a five and a half inch piece. One, two, three, four, five. I've already got my half at the beginning. Just checking to make sure on that one. And this next one is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one's gonna be six and a half. Let me move this up there. And then this last one is gonna be eight and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. just like that. And then you're gonna have this extra piece left over that you're gonna save for another project. You're also gonna do the same thing with your one and a half inch strip and you're gonna cut those two and a half, three and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. Now this is the block we're going for right here. This is what it looks like when it's all together. Just like that. And I'm gonna show you how it all works and it all goes together so easily. All right, so we're gonna take this two and a half inch strip and we're gonna put it on the side of our two and a half inch square. And this is the fun part about pre-cutting your strips is because everything's just gonna to fit together. And then we're gonna add the other two and a half inch white. So you always add two whites and two colors and two whites and two colors, just like that. So let's go to the sewing machine and we'll put on our two inch and a half white strips. Now the trick with this is, is that when you put uh, smaller strips on one side, it gives it a curved look, so that makes it really fun. All right, let me press, I'm just finger pressing this back, and then I'm gonna put this strip on this side. And just make sure when you add your strips, like this right here, just make sure when you add your strips that the, the white always touches the white or the color always touches the color. It has to touch it on some side. So th that's why how you know that you've got it going on the right way. I always make those little mantras for myself so I don't get lost. All right, so we're gonna press this open. And I'm just gonna set my seam there and roll it back. The one I already finger pressed open. All right, so now, all right, so see right here where this is a little off right here? That's not gonna matter because I can put another strip on there. It'll be enclosed in the quarter inch seam so it won't work. Ideally, these should have lined up perfectly, but that's all right because it's still gonna work. All right, so now we go to our color side over here and we're gonna put this three and a half on this side and this five and a half on this side. All right, so let's go do that. And you're always surrounding your, metal, your middle square first. Okay. 
And again, I'm just gonna finger press this back. Now, if you want, you know, honestly, if I were doing this in my sewing room, I would have my ironing area right here next to me so I could iron every little seam uh, so that I could go, I could go from the iron to the sewing machine, from the iron to the sewing machine. And we're using quarter inch seams. And when you put a block like this together where you put a lot of little pieces in, you wanna make sure that those quarter inch seams stay uh, stay that way because that's going to help your block fit. This is one of those times where that uh, it is kind of important to pay attention to those little strips. All right, so now we've added two colors and it's time to add two more white ones and we're going to put those over here like this and like this. So you just keep adding the white side to the white side, the color to the color and let's go ahead and put those on. This little background on here that is a white but it has a little silver dot, I think it's really fun. Alrighty, here we go. And then I'm gonna open that up and then put this other side on. Just like this. All right, we'll press this back now. All right, so once your block is pressed nice and open, then we're gonna add our other two pieces and we're gonna add them so that it checkerboards. Make sure, you know, if you put it on this side and they line up exactly the same, that's not the look you're looking for. You're looking for this side where it actually, you know, where it stops and it's, it has that weave look to it and then the other one is gonna be over here. So just watch as you're putting them together. These really won't matter too much, although you wanna follow that, but because they're the same color, it's not gonna show, but this side is definitely gonna show. So right here where we have the shortest piece, we're gonna add our next piece. And, uh, and we're just gonna sew it a quarter of an inch down and then we'll finger press this back and then we will add this other strip to the other side. All right, now let's press this open. So once you get your block ironed, you are ready to go. And you need four of these to make a block. There's two different block sets, but it's just gonna take four of these to make a block. And basically when you start, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two of your blocks together like this, make sure they're set together so the weave is still here, and you're gonna sew all your blocks in pairs of two. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. Here's my other block. And again, I'm looking for this weave and I'm gonna sew them together in blocks of two. So let's do that right here. And one more. And you're gonna do this to your whole stack. The whole stack is gonna go together like this. And then the difference comes in how we lay them out. So let me press these open right here. And I like, especially on this kind of block, I like to iron from the top. If you iron from the top, you make sure that there's no pleats or seams that are folded over because if you have a, if I have a little seam that's folded in here, that's gonna change the size of my block. So be real careful on your ironing. Make sure you press from the top of your block so that everything is nice, wide open. And I like to actually just, you know, set my seam and roll it back. Just roll it back like that and use the side of my iron to push to make sure that's completely open. All right, now let me show you how these go together because these are gonna go together to form two different blocks. The first block is this one right here where all of our background colors are to the corners. Okay, everybody got that? The second block, we're just gonna sew it together on opposite sides right here. So that, that now this comes together where the white ones come together just like that. And that makes our secondary block. Let me show you how this looks laid out. All right, I'm gonna lay this over here like I sewed it together pretending. So this is my white to the outside, and then this is my one where they're, or white to the inside, and this is my one where they're all on the outside like this. So basically the blocks are sewn together the same way, but as you put them together, as you put them together, you're gonna put them together in rows like this, 
and it's going to make this pattern. See how this pattern is beginning to curve right here? That's, here's where it is on the quilt right here. This is it right here. This is the curve that makes this happen right here. So when you put your rows together, a lot of times we offset our rows. These are lined up exactly the same. So all of these blocks go in a straight roll down and that means you're gonna get your circle here and a secondary circle here and they're gonna be offset a little bit. So it's really fun to make, really fun to put together. It's fun to see, you know, with a, with a log cabin block like this, it's fun to see all the designs and patterns that happen because it, there's a million ways to set it. And this is just a fun new way. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.